Hello everyone and um, welcome to my channel Digger Evans Model Railway. Uh, first of all what you can see is this uh, this building here it's the the DPM Woodland scene it's one. I built it up uh, it was only four sides to glue together and a roof to cut it wasn't interesting enough to put on a video really wasn't. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, use the airbrush and uh, and make it look some faded you know like it's been uh, it's been there a long long time and it's faded away in the sunshine now the airbrush I'm using is this uh, gravity feed and as you can see that's the cup for the for the fluid and it comes down that's why it's gravity fed this end is a diffuser that pushes down and gives you your air and pulling it back moves a lever and uh, moves the uh, the pin inside and that actually moves the needle and sort of gives you the uh, I can get that off that gives you the uh, the floor paint to come out I don't know if you can see you see that needle move slightly Now, how far that needle moves is governed by this pin here. If you see, when I press that down to move the needle, it only moves so far, only allowing so much paint out. If I unwind it, move it away, I can pull it much further back, and that'll allow a lot more paint out. Now, back to the business end. If I wanted to do a really fine line, uh, probably as thin as a pencil line or something I'd leave the diffuser off and that'll produce a fine line when we when we spray out but putting the diffuser on making sure it doesn't stick actually allows the paint to spread out as it comes out and that's what we're looking for here we're looking for a, a reasonable and flow of paint to come out and sort of give us a, a good covering now that's the next step what we're going to do and I'll, I'll show you how we do it I'll just switch the compressor on I'm using this small tiny compressor because that's all I need with a gravity feed brush and uh, it's set to produce just over one atmosphere of pressure which is uh, all you need for this all you need for this at the moment you can you can alter it using this dial here now I've made up my own paint in in this dropper bottle and uh, you can hear it swishing about it's ordinary acrylic white in those squeezy tubes that you get and I've mixed it with acrylics thinner some people have have used water and I, I know Rick Rick Bailey the other day had it was uh, contemplating on using water and other things and uh, that was his first ever go on on a paint paintbrush and uh, he did an amazing job he did really well Rick if you're watching he did a good job but I'm going to show you why I'm using this rather than a water mix so we're going to put uh, we're going to drip some in drip some into the cup I'm sorry I'm off out of focus there I'm going to just drip, drip it in, plenty of it, if you put too much in you can always tip it back out into the bottle again, so there's plenty in there, and I'm going to alter this, so that we've got a really good amount of paint being able to flow through, now I'm going to stand off, away from it, a good a oh, good 12 inches for this because it's going to diffuse it all over so we'll just hang on let's see if we can get it to focus on that now and we'll see just a fine mist coming out now it's going to give us a good even coat which is uh, what you need for this so it's all actually covered and it all looks evenly sun faded there we 
go. Quite happy with that. It does look a bit less there, so we'll give it a bit more. Now, don't worry about the windows and things. I know those are all getting covered with it, but it's easy to uh, to remedy, and it's part actually is part of the weathering setup. So I'm going to do this end next. Now, importantly, there's a chimney there, and we must forget to treat the bricks on the chimney the same as the walls. So we'll just give that a quick do. And along the top of these walls, so it all looks uh, like it's got the same treatment. So that's all that area quite quickly done. It's looking quite even, is that now? It's looking better. I know it's making a funny pattern on the camera of these bricks, isn't it? Uh, but it is, it, that's a lot better now. Now the most important thing with the airbrush is empty it out you get one of these jars you get one of these jars they're about 10 quid on the internet empty it out you've got to clean you've got to clean this straight away if you don't it will clog up make a great big mess and you'll end up having to do a full strip down clean on it after to un unclog it I've got cleaning fluid decanted into a squirt bottle so it's easy to use. Just give some of that in there. Now as Rick showed us all, you put your finger on this end, push it down, it bubbles. It bubbles up. And what that's doing is, uh, is blowing air the opposite way to... Uh, to clean the chamber out properly the paint chamber inside now I'm going to do the same again squirt some of the cleaner in and what I want to do is see it run clear you know once I've seen it run clear I've opened it up right up to blow it straight through you notice that noise the nice changes as as the chamber gets empty and that's looking pretty clear to me so I'll just give it a quick yeah that's blowing clear I'm happy with that I'm happy with that oh it goes without saying wear a mask and uh, take safety precautions especially if you're using paints that are quite noxious these ones aren't aren't that bad these acrylics but you still wear a mask right <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I've already added some tiny bits of weathering up and down on this side just under the windows you just see it there and, and off the tops just streaks of uh, of dirt really and I'm going to quickly do a few just on here just to show you what I'm doing now I've got a, a grey watercolour and a black watercolour. Those are the only ones I'm going to need. But what I will also be using is... I can find him. There we go. A very, very fine, very fine brush. Uh, get yourself some water. Now, if I'd have used water as, as the medium for, for spreading that that paint uh it would have given way and come away as as i use the uh, the water based pencils so i've got a little tub of water there i'm going to sit this gray in it give it a, a fair old soak i'm going to give it a fair old soak in that and you, you're just thinking to yourself well rainwater would run and get stuck and not get cleaned and so we can just apply a bit there you just see a bit of grey has gone on there now and it is it is quite wet but we'll, we'll add some more water to it 
now it just looks like a blob if you can see that it, I don't know how well you can see it but it just looks like a blob so I'm going to make it look finer I've dipped the brush in water just wet that paint and drag it down just to drag it down and I don't know if you can see that or not you can just see the water dragging down but believe me it's uh, it's got some grey in there I'm not going to do them all because we're going to be here forever and ever that's just a quick a quick overview of that building I have uh, another one to build and with some more coming in the post hopefully in the next few days what I will say is uh, thank you all ever so much I did reach the 1000 subscriber mark I'm going to do a competition I'm going to make a really short video about how to enter the competition it is going to be for vouchers but it's going to be vouchers a shop of your choice so that wherever you are in the world you can choose a voucher for your local shop or whatever as long as they accept internet payment they, they'll uh, you'll be able to get a voucher for them that's all i just want to say thank you all ever so much for subscribing to me and supporting my channel i really appreciate it we're well on the way now we've got over a thousand and that's a really appreciated thank you all ever so much and i shall see you all very soon bye bye for now